What's up, people? Pause is back again, and we're here today with part 14 of our Burnley FIFA career mode. I've kind of neglected this a little bit. Um, but yeah, we are back now, guys, and we are well and truly back on the streaming bombshell. I've recently made an affiliate, so it's kind of a good thing for myself. Just as we always start off, please, guys, when you're watching, please make sure, as well, if you enjoy this video, to make sure you drop a like, because it makes me happy. Please make sure you share it, because it gets me out there. And subscribe to my channel, because it gets me bigger in a non-sexual way. Standard. Also, as well, then, guys, if you can please make sure that you do follow me on Twitch. Uh, positively glad that'll be more than appreciated. And make sure you drop us loads of them chair bits, if you can, of course. Now... I'm going to simply say before we get into the kind of FIFA side of it, I just want to kind of initially kind of make a sort of heartfelt kind of condolence off a sort of thing for the families of the tragedy uh, yesterday, of course. It's not good enough, is it? It's what the hell are they doing? Why, are they, why, have, they, why have they done what they've done? But condolences to the families, just hopefully um, make a pick of the pieces and then they will... We will find out what happens next, obviously. Absolutely disgusting. Right, um, so anyway, back onto the topic of the day. We are here once again with Burnley. Um, we have got a bit of an interesting episode today, guys. It may be one, it may be two, it may be three. Don't have many games yet um, because my missus is coming back soon. But I will try and grind out as many as possible. Three to maximum, of course, as usual. We have today Liverpool. We have today Sunderland. And the third and final game will be against our lovely people at Tottenham Hotspur. So that's who we've got going on there. We may have we have United four times, well, twice in five games as well, which is coming up interesting. The first game of today is Liverpool. This is the squad... The, oh, God, pardon me. This is the squad that we are running for this. We have Andre Gray up front with Ian Nacho. We have Christian Pulisic. We have Westwood, Hendrick, and Malcolm. Fortesino, Dariqua, Keane, and Tolovsky. And we also have our young Chinese goalkeeper, Xu, in goal. He's actually done pretty well so far. But we are going straight into the game against Liverpool, guys. Let's get th let's get to it, see what's happening. All right, so we're actually at Anfield here. We had a great game against them the first time out we did. I believe it was a draw when we played these games. So I'll have to double-check that later earlier in the series. I'll have to go back to it, unfortunately. But, yep, um, now we're going to Anfield. A tricky start to the stream. Liverpool are doing sort of okay in the league. A lot lower down what they should have been, but... Obviously, it's a bit of a topsy-turvy table so far. Three Ts, TTT, topsy-turvy table. Free kick sponsor, we've done this so many times, I'll give it a quick go in a minute. But yeah. Tonight, guys, as well, please make sure you check out Mustafa Shag's Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Mustafa Shag. You will see me live in action, where I potentially could take the lead of the championship in eSports racing. So, interesting plug in our league there. Might as well do it straight away. And great start by Malcolm. Let's get straight into the game. Over to Alan and Martin. Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. As always, we'll try not to make any slips in the commentary, but there might be some slips out on the pitch, Alan, in these wet conditions. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it's going to stop during the course of the match, so I don't think it's going to affect the game in any way in terms of calling it off, but it might get very wet for the players. Game today. Liverpool. That is ninth. Crap, I thought a bit higher than that. Like Liverpool are really struggling. Kind of reminds me of last season. Well, they also, I believe, got ninth. There's no doubt that the visitors come here. Unbeaten away from home as well. Only six games left away from home now, guys. So Liverpool have the fifth best away record. They just got crap at home. But to get nine wins in 13 games confirms that. Our home form is more worrying than our away form. So big one here. This is the Liverpool side. Maurice Carrier. Oh, who the fuck is that? Ben? What? Uh, what? In games. You think of the who the fuck are these? Mohamed and his Dumas. What? Do they think of the piss? They're not even in the cup semi. They're in no cup competition. I can assure you that they're not in Europe. Put this up a little bit. How disrespectful for Liverpool, man. Why are they not, um... This is the Burnley lineup. Ashley Westwood. Where's your we up? Jeff Hendrick in midfield. Oh, there you go. And in attack, Kelechi Ikeanacho. Yeah, we, we have changed a few of our players, but... Well, a fair few of our players, but... I mean, come on, we still got almost a semi... Semi-full squad. Undergoing a real period of renovation. Mm -hmm. Now Anfield, the building Love that pitch, look at that. Over the top. Great dynamic of the HD pitch, lads. Not quite 4K yet. <laughs> 
And it'll be interesting to see whether in doing this... It I mean, this guy's a numpty. I've had a few games of this guy this season. Well, He's just giving me some real shit, but... We are away, lads. This is where we start. Let's get going. Liverpool versus Burnley. A win here will almost cement ourselves as champions, in my opinion. We've got a, obviously there's a long way to go. Here the challenge is a good one. There's good progress with this attack. And shoots. That's Scrappy start. There, stopping that attack. Well, he's used a hand there. What? Oh crap. Um. Right, give me one second, lads, just to get this going global. Obviously, people who want to watch FIFA don't have a clue what's going on here, so I need to kind of get myself global, get myself out there. Um, FIFA 17, FIFA Online 3, what the hell is that? FIFA, people still stream FIFA 08, really? No, um, no silver. Co-op Rara isn't available till after the Tuesday race tonight. Um, that's kind of what happened. I end up having a good down the route of FIFA. But yep, we're still here. Um, still fighting away, streaming away. I've neglected this series over the last week or two, so well, it will go for Tino. I'm not causing any problems here. There. Come on. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Both Daniel recordings will be done today, of course. Give my NBA a break tonight. When it broke down, to Malcolm. They've got to try and regain possession. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacho. On the run. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. Gray, yes! Get in there straight away! Fantastic Come on! Gets in there, Andre Gray. He's on fire! Three and four. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. Ooh, 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 ooh. tasty. First time side foot. Shocking Anfield. Been to Old Trafford, beat him at Old Trafford, Monday night at Old Trafford, Chelsea at Stamford, Arsenal at the Emirates. And now Liverpool at Anfield. And then we can't beat Southampton at St. Mary's, but we'll, we'll ignore that fact. Um, yeah, all right. Here we go. Straight on the ball again. It's a very tight game between these two on the home ground of the team that's the visiting team today. I wonder whether it'll be similar the to up on there? after a goalless draw, but I'd be surprised looking at the talent on view. Yeah, you don't normally it's get two games the same. And as you say, there's, uh, there's enough players out what there. What the hell is Andre Gray doing there? Roberto Firmino. Attacking well here. That looked dangerous until he made the interception. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacho. Oh, he's just Chris caught Pettigrew. in the middle again, Ikinacho. He's not quite the level of where I need him at the moment. Joe Ledley. Not a good challenge by the defender. I got King just so confident in defence. Christian Pulisic. Westwood. Pretty one nil up straight away, straight out of the box. Nice quick start. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacho. Ah, that was a Liverpool weak through ball there. We got a split. Pulisic. Not sure. It's kind of more Westwood. of a holding striker, isn't he? I think. Oh, come on, Westwood. What's the Fortuna? Why are you up there? Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Henderson. Corner. Good block. That's a corner now for Liverpool. Milner. Get rid of it. Keeper's not looking very strong. James Milner, Jordan Henderson. Now the shot. Good save by Shu. As we always say, guys, any new people, any new people to the stream, please make sure you come in, drop us a follow. This is going to be a bit more regular than it's been so far. Oh, couldn't quite get there. Oh, lucky. Please make sure if you get any bits. I think they're calling bits cheering. I've enabled cheering on my channel now, so if anyone wants to drop us a bit of cheer. We're going to be fucking cheering that shit. That was awful. All right, anyway. Not 
Milner. And that pass from Milner is cut out. And this could be a really good move. Oh, that was brilliant, though. Doing well to keep the ball. And here's the shot. Oh, good what save. Gray is on it. Gray is on it in the first half here. And that will be a corner. And that oh, will clear the danger. Out, well, that's kind of annoying. Cleverly done with that technique. Oh, great, 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 great. Oh, fucking hell. Couldn't take the shot. I think Liverpool know they can do better than this. Oh, oh that's a naughty tackle there by Michael King. We can't afford him to get in trouble. Easy decision for this referee. Oh, dear. No leniency here. It's got to be a card, a yellow one. Yeah, he reached for that back pocket straight away. And out it came. Here's Ichianacho. Can't quite get on the turn in that show. He's fighting, he's fighting. This and he's got Andre Gray released. Good tackle back there. Defending How much I can do? Joe Ledley. You see the guy in the middle has fall over then. <laughs> Whoops. And they met before, nothing between these two sides. Oh, I did draw. But listening to the manager in the pre-match press talk, he thinks that there will be something between them today and in his team's favour. Oh, oh, I think you've got to be pass. bullish. I mean, there's not much to separate them, but uh, if they come out here and they, uh, produce their best form, they've got every chance. Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to press that. God, this, it's just all hands on deck at the moment. Very good oh. oh, Amble. Fuck. Oh, Tolovsky, he's done it again. Every fucking time we get well, Tolovsky just punches the ball. Definite handball. Definite handball. Firmino. To shoot. Penalty One up. Good goal. No worry about the pressure. Definite goal. Responsibility here, and there's the goal. Right. Well, he enjoys the responsibility. He took that coolly. It's a level. Both sides have scored here now. Good forward play from. He can't hold the ball up. God, it's just. This is where Sam Vokes would come in handy. That's why he's on the bench. James Milner. Had to play Westwood. A lot of my Firmino. midfielders are knackered. Can't risk them. There's certain games that I've got to play them for. Paul ripping us to pieces at the moment. Some potential in this move. Shoot, nice ball. Up and over. Distribution. Let's get going. Oh, come on, man. Gray, release the ball. Come on, buddy. Nice one. It's Burnley pressing on. Just, just blow half time in the middle of the fucking in the middle of the play. God's sakes! Everton City both winning. Bit of a problem. Chelsea winning as well. So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. Not playing like champions at the moment. Nice return pass. Well defended. Oh, the fourth to Shinio. Oh, come on, buddy. As well. I've got no other left back options. I need you to play. Plunges down and out and hurt and tired. Michael Keane, thank God for Michael Keane. Thank you very much, Alan. What is he doing, man? God's sakes, the keeper needs all the help he can get, and when my defenders are not doing what they need to do. Was well, there an issue? Promising build up until that challenge. On the attack here. Freshening it up, Liverpool, with the substitute now. Quick tempo to the passing. The opposition can't get near them. Pulisic, what a save by Carrius! Let's take our time to make our subs. Counter-rack this. We're going to have to bring Bacali on. Ian Acho, um 
yep, we said we we're going to do that one. And the other one I want to make is Stephen DeFour for Westwood. And we'll see how we do. A given. I think the uh, manager's decided he wants to let the player have a great individual reception, which he wouldn't get at the final whistle. And he's met it with Ooh, his head. Andre Gray. World draw isn't bad at Anfield, but we need better if we're going to win the championships, so... Around. Oh my god! You... So there's a few players on this team. Here we go. Want to make an alteration, they're going to bring a new player on. Gray. Stephen Defo. Keen. Here's Gray. He's coming forward with some danger. Could have been a much They're better pass, but could have been worse, I guess. Going. Stephen oh, he's not carried his run on. He stopped. Ah, uh, that's a problem. We've reached the hour. Three quart. Oh, we'll be getting that. I'll take that deflection. Ooh. Cali on the run. I know he's dangerous on the run. Was good progress with oh, fuck yes, it Alright, okay, good. moving on. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Polsky just great tackle, makes up for his earlier handball. Well, it doesn't because. Yeah, might, might, might. Pulisic is absolutely through on goal here. Some danger to the opposition now they're here. Oh, great tackle. I had to do it. I could have took the shot, but he was coming too quick towards me. He wouldn't have got anywhere. Stephen Defro. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. Brilliant team play this. With the passing, the movement off the ball to make the passing possible. Stephen Defro. Good pass, getting it forward. This with a chance. Bakali, yes! And a goal, and they've taken the lead. <laughs> Brilliant, well worked goal, Argentina like. Goal from Bakali. And how's about that for composure? Just dropping his shoulder, rolling it into the box. Sam Volks comes into the side. Have another assist. Peek at that goal. Bakali's become a world class. I want to sign him next year. Liverpool Obviously, I can't gone. because they're out the transfer yeah. window now. But a goal from uh, West Ham. It's a goal for West Ham United. Ooh. 73 minutes played. Two-one. Cheers, Alan. Back at Chelsea. I don't think they'll win. Looking good this move. Oh, keen, away. keen, keen, keen. Oh, oh Zoo, love your black. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Absolutely wide-eyed on the on the left wing. Passes. This team are passing the ball beautifully. Oh, Vokes couldn't quite squeeze it through. Vokes has made a difference. Not on a kind of goal score in front. Give me a second here. Oh my God. A quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports. We've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. Liverpool. They'll be facing Manchester City away from home. That was the opening that they've been working so Just hard um, to get, to get heard some news as well, guys, you that the um, uh, eight-year-old that was missing in Manchester there, has it? been confirmed dead. Uh, Clever little back heel. Words cannot describe, can they? Challenge. Ten minutes left of regular. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, actually. Um, for the remainder of this match, I'm going to stay silent and kind of as a mark of respect. Um, so, I'll get back to you at the end of the game. Okay. It's a quick break. The shot's up. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. It's a terrific goal at a terrific time, and it should seal the win. The touch of a maestro. To just let that ball trundle on into the net. Yeah, he's having a little chuckle to himself and he'll be talking about that, I'm sure, to his teammates. He'll be proud of that one. The 
Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now for Scorla. Nathaniel Klein. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. The uh, attack has fizzled out here. Goal kick. What a good player we knew he was before the game started. He's just emphasised that in this performance. Well, you've only got to look at the screen to see how successful, how positive he's been around goal. He's been so effective and got on the score sheet as well. Superb performance. Time wasting, Alan, do you think, from the away team here? They've got to win perhaps uh, in their sights now if they do well, but there are other ways of seeing it through from here. Yeah, well, you can understand it to a certain extent. They've worked hard to get themselves into this position and they don't seem to have too many ambitions. And here's the shot. Oh, the bar still shake. And he heads it for goal. They've got a corner now. Good defending. And we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Three minutes of added time. Stephen Defoe. It's Burnley pressing on. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. Well, it was close enough. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. Shot off! Jordan Henderson. And now the shot! He's got to it, and he's claimed the ball too. Doing well to keep... That mark of silence was for the eight-year-old girl. You can probably hear my voice. It's kind of waving a little bit. It's hits me home being a daddy now. And Champions Cup. The eight-year-old um, has been confirmed dead. Nil. As I said. Um, two, nil. Why would you do it? Man? One, There's no need. Three. There's Manchester City like you one, know, prove a point some City other way. One. You know, I don't know. West Ham United one. <laughs> Chelsea, two. Make a video. Let's have a look at what those results you know. mean for tonight's league tables. Great result by us, by the way, there. But it's a bit mad. With 61 points. In second, rising up the table, are Everton with 52 points. In third, climbing the table, are Chelsea with 49 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth and falling are Arsenal with 49 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fifth, moving down, are Leicester City with 49 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In sixth, Manchester United with 46 points. In seventh, Manchester City with 41 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In eighth, Crystal Palace with 39 points. Bottom of the table, Swansea City with 22 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Bournemouth with 23 points. Third bottom, Hull City with 25 points. Fourth bottom, Southampton with 28 points. Fifth bottom, Tottenham Hotspur with 29 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Awful, awful news, that guy's. Not on anything to do with FIFA, but about the young girl. Um, hopefully they bring whoever is responsible to justice and cut their fucking heads off. Fucking kill them, honest to God. I, I wasn't going to... I was going to refrain from talking too much about it on the stream, guys, but... You know, I mean, come on, this, there's just no need to do it. I mean, I understand, well, I don't understand. I don't understand why you'd do it. There's no reason to do it. They generally, oh, God. It's horrible, isn't it? It is. We'll keep on, um, we'll keep on our way. We're going to... I mean, my missus is coming home anyway, so this is probably going to be the volume I do stick at, but um, I will be keeping myself firmly quiet, I think, today. Um, I was quite hyped up uh, before, but it just kind of ruins it, doesn't it? It ruins the whole gen general effect 
of people's lives. As weird as it sounds, because I'm not stupid, you know, it happens all the time. I'm not just doing this for the dramatic effect either here, guys. It's it's not good, is it? It's not very nice, what they've done. It's just not even... I think the more point in it is, is pointless. What does it achieve? It, it gives us... It gives people, you know, the constant feeling of, oh, yeah, well... Or gives them the feeling of, oh, yeah, we're overpowering them based on the fact that we're kind of making people shocked. You're not making people shocked. You're making people disgusted. It's a difference. I mean, for example, those innocent young kids, they, they did nothing wrong. You know, they, they didn't. They did nothing wrong. It's, it's not, you know... Uh. Anyway, um, this is what we're going to be looking at doing here, guys. Like I said, I was going to almost call the stream to an end then, because I'm really pissed off with what's gone on today. And we, we actually beat Liverpool 3-1 as well, which is awesome. I, I didn't expect to win that game, but... And we've got a few scout reports in as well, so hopefully we get a couple more of these. Um, Goncalo, Goncalo uh, Guedes from Paris Saint-Germain. I've never heard of this guy, by the way. I bought him in because he seems pretty good. Uh, 78 finishing at 20 years old. He's definitely one for the scouting. Um, and definitely at 8.5 million as well. I believe that Mbappe... I'll, I'll scout Mbappe because I believe this kid is going to be the next big thing obviously in real life and outside of it. Um, so what we'll do then, we'll go on to the final scout report. We'll read Adam Armstrong's scout report too, uh, while we're here. Aaron Ramsdale is a good keeper. I think apparently he's meant to get really, really good in his later years, but um, we've already got our first choice keeper now, it's Shu. I mean, he's amazingly, um, looking at it, he's gone up quite a bit. Look, I like that Cavallero guy, he's pretty good. I think he's going to be about 87 sprint speed and 86. Look at that, look at what, who is this guy? He's from Exeter, apparently. Um... Pacey prolific striker. He's got good finishing at his young age, 21, especially where he is. He won't be there for the rest of his career, I assure you. A newer dicko with a... <laughs> that's a kind of funny name. Um, Potim Kasami. Uh, look at this. We've got a fair few players even I've never heard of. Obviously, you've heard of that prick. Um, all right, let's have a little look here. Paul George and Kudu. I don't like him on FIFA. I really, really don't rate him much. Obviously, I think he might be better on career mode. Adam Armstrong, the reason why I've gone for him is I believe he will... As young as he is, I thought he's much older than that. Actually, he's been around for the block for years. But, um... Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um... You know, just messing the missus now we're talking about the whole thing that's gone on on Facebook and you know yeah beggar's belief look beggar's belief folks isn't it beggar's belief um right the peeps uh, let's have a little look at what we can play we know that we've got a lot of tired tired young men on this pitch right now so I think what I'm going to do we'll definitely give um, well we should have Vardy back to full full stamina now we do he's almost there I'll put Vardy on for no, I don't, I don't know what should we do. You know what? We'll actually, give Andre Gray a break for this match. He, he does deserve the break. He's absolutely goose. He's been fantastic this season. Or do I keep him on for the first half and then bring Vardy on? Yeah, I think that might be an idea. We'll give Vokes a little break. He actually had a really, really good game, Sam Vokes, last match. But we'll give him a bit of a break. Um, we have, I believe it's Watford, I believe it is. If not, then. Apparently my baby should be grounded until she's 60 to avoid anything like this. Yeah, amen to that. Um. <laughs> um, right, so we've got Malcolm Pulisic. I believe um, Charlie Masonda is back to full stamina now. So Pulisic had a fantastic game against Liverpool. He really shone through in one of, if not the best performance he's had for me. I'd love to sign him. His upside would be tremendous. In fact, I'm almost tempted to bring, other than John Flanagan... I'm definitely signing Bakali. We know that's going to happen. But I'm tempted to sign all our loanies back as permanent deals. If not, you know, into a loan sort of criteria there. The Fortuchino actually had a bad game in that game. Um, I think Tolovsky, well, we all know what happened with him. Good game for Tolovsky. Just kind of got a bit unlucky with the handball. Um, Kozyello is definitely coming back this game. And we will bring on Gentner. Bring him back as well. Um, we also have... This is game two. It may be game two of two. It may be game two of three. I will kind of inform you guys as to what we're doing now. 
Um, Joe Barton stays on the bench, the four. I probably will bring on Barton this game, actually. Um, we need another right midfield. In fact, I'm going to give Goodman Son... Oh, I can't. He's not good enough, is he? Um, Matt Lowton can come back on the starting lineup. Uh, Dariqua did really well, but his tracking back is not quite up to standard. Fucking flies buzzing around my house. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be running with Gray, Iheanacho, Masonda, Gentner, Cosiello, and Malcolm. Ponje, who is... Mm, all right. Uh, ben Mee, Michael Keane, Matt Lowton, and our goalkeeper once again, Zhu. So we'll have a look at just really before I do get started. Obviously, we're not going to be doing any training. I just want to see how far down the list Zhu is. Ah, he's just turned 40 overall, 50 overall. Sorry. Okay, so that's good. And um, you can see already. Look at Alvarez, man. He's. 62 rated, and the Groot is still only 15 years old. May I point out, he's not even old enough to come into the squad yet. I'll double check his CPS. Look, he's still do, 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 15 years old. Look at that already. 86 potential, it's saying. 60 overall already, but his stamina and look at this. His stats already. Apparently, it says 89 finishing. That will, of course, downgrade by the time we bring him into the side. Obviously. We've got a load of Australians, simply because I'm Australian manager, I thought I'd bring for a few of them, but I've not even trained any of them up yet. In fact, I'm probably going to release half of them, to be fair. Um, Lewis Mason, as tremendous... In fact, I'm probably gonna, I will release this guy, actually. I don't need him. Um, guys with really awful potential, I probably will release. Uh, Igor Cardoso just isn't really... Yeah, all right. Hugh Richardson... Um, he's got he's got a great upside, him. I think I will start training Richardson up, actually. He seems like he's got a lot of... Obviously, we say potential every time. Ba 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 ba. Keeping you because you have an awesome name, name, name. Alright, um, right. So what we're gonna do then, guys? We're gonna get straight into the game against Sunderland. In fact, what I will do, guys, I'm gonna have a quick cigarette now, but I will load into the game, so you'll have to forgive me. Pause. We'll be back in two minutes. Thanking you very much.
Right guys, game two against Sunderland, I'm back, let's get rolling. Forgive the long intermission there folks. Um, Free kicks now, Walter. We've done that once already. Um, so what we're going to do then, guys, let's get into it. Sunderland, who are having a pretty good season in comparison to their real-life season. They've got the top goal scorer, of course. Martin Tyler, Over to Martin and Alan. Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball please, you're watching. If anyone's new surface, watching this, please make sure you drop me a follow. Thank you very much. Conditions, because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes... One or two goals about for strikers. The game today features Sunderland and they play Burnley. Well, they're pretty down to earth folk at Burnley. They don't get above themselves with the expectation, but they must be inwardly very pleased as we just check as to what position they're actually in at the moment. Well, what a story it's been. Gate crashing, the big boys party here. Doesn't happen often these days, and to be top now, well, can they keep it going? Well, this is a real shuffling of the pack by Sunderland for this game. Vito Manoni starts in goal. Billy Jones replaces Papi Misson. They've got quite a good, strong squad, so they're going for it. Adnan Yanuzai starts with Fabio Barini in the wide positions. Jermaine Defoe is the sole striker today. This is the Burnley lineup. So, Alan, 4 4 2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. Burnley, we know they're looking good, feeling good. They had that away win recently in their last game, actually, against Liverpool. Yeah, impressive that 3 1 win. And, uh, so, um, here we go. Bit of a kind of downtrodden stream based on the Brit effects on Britain today but we're going to fight it as we always do we're a strong nation and we're going to do this guys um, now Sunderland this is the pivotal game for me personally win this game and we are away I know we've obviously got games against some of the top sides here we go it's great on the back of the side. Now it's Kalechi Ikinacho. Keen. Here's Ikinacho. This could be a really good move from Ooh, Burnley. Look at Andre. What the hell is that Classic guy doing? Man, he's, he's, he's just doing a fucking chicken step. Right, let's get going. Billy Jones. Good challenge. Well, here could be a Forcing under a lot of problems. Passes, but they're keeping the ball. Here's Ichianacho. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Ben Me. It's a quick break. Oh, it's offside. Well, it was missed anyway. Let's have another look at that because it was. was starting to get himself in there nice and early. Just a step offside, I think. When I saw it first time of asking, I thought he was on. Yeah, yeah just if I, if I did it first time, Sonder would have probably had more of a chance of burying it, ironically. This could be a very good contest, Alan, because obviously the uh, the team that are visiting today won the reverse match, so they've got a little bit of a psychological edge, but of course they're uh, a fair way away from home. Yeah, they are, and uh, you know, as we know, psychologically... Oh, was absolutely just cut through the defence all by himself here. Today. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Penalty! It is! Penalty. The luck has returned, and it wasn't a handball; it was a foul, a foul on Matt Lowton of all people. The issue. This player's now walking a tightrope for the rest of the game. Well, he's just going to have to. Kelly buries it nice and calm and crisp. Sunderland 
gave away the penalty. They've well fallen like a stone yeah, I mean, since. A They're not out of relegation trouble yet. Really, really cool strike, and this isn't going to... Oh, and Inacho just absolutely dominant penalty here. Kalechi's seventh league goal, I believe. It is. And that has opened the scoring. One -nil just what we needed. That bit of luck that we've kind of missed out on this season, really. We've actually got most of our goals from skill more than anything. Great header by Michael Keane there. We look absolutely in control at the moment. Son, that's apps. Oh, that's Punje. Wingback's getting forward very nicely so far. No! Oh! Oh, Inacho went for the diving header, just missed it. Any connection there? That would have been another goal. If I do go quiet, guys, I will be helping the missus with getting the baby out of the car, so potentially you may hear me go a little bit quieter. It's Burnley pressing on. Probing away. Trying to find, trying to find Punjay, but I found the inaction, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. Jell couldn't quite get through, so Sunderland with their first proper chance on the ball here. What can they make of it? Piece of interplay between the two. Oh, Punja missed the header. Attacking power in this situation. Top goal scorer in the league. Great stop there by Ben Mee. Off the post. post. Sunderland threatened him. Heart and mouth moment at the moment. Slow the ball down. Over the punji to get there, and oh, we're back in control. Gentner, quick tempo to the passing. The opposition can't get near them. Try one. Oh, he nacho! Oh, Stopped at the shot. What a shame for the lad. Look at Good the attempt. He's getting off his teammates. They thought he was going to score, but yeah, lucky there, he nacho. Oh, I pulled Cogello away here. This is going to cause a bit of problems if I. Yeah, see, I pulled the nacho or Cogello, sorry, away from the ball, and it's caused me a bit of problems here. I've shown threats. Oh, Kazri having a good old pop there. Something are threatening. You right, Martin. They have worked extremely hard. Just let down at the, at the death there. What a miss. Gentner. Really on top of their game now. Wonderful understanding. We've got a young team, but we've got a couple of oldies in there. With Koji, oh, that's fantastic. Well, that had been very promising, but no longer. In quickly. Ooh. And Bavardi's going to be making his return. So this one after bagging the first goal in the win at Arsenal. With Burnley now. The home team have some work to do, Alan, because they've lost their last Go two tackle. games. They've got home advantage. They, they need to win today. Yeah, they do. They do. Some of them really need to pick up a win, and they—I wouldn't say they're going to, but they've got a chance, a real chance. You know what I mean? It's. They've got a really good team, Sunderland. They just can't pull it together, and they've got probably one of the worst managers in history as well. I'm biased. I'm a United, but I'm a United fan. But you know, Moisey's good. He just needs a lot of time to get himself set up. And you know, if Sunderland give him the chance, he could potentially do some justice there. He found his niche at Everton, though, didn't he? He had his he had his stalwarts. And there is you, nice easy catch. That's Cogello. I'm released to Malcolm, and here we go. We're on the attack here. Off to the races. This is the kind of uh, pitch that uh, I think attacking players favour, Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders and uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol, loss of footing, and uh, you're in. Inacho, what a goal! This is Inacho's game. By two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable, and they're good value for this advantage at the moment. This is what we've been missing all season, and we're still leading the Premier League. We've been missing this. The link up with the strikers. Imagine if we had that earlier in the season. We're putting seven or eight goals past people. Everyone seems to be clicking. Stadium of life are in trouble. Stadium of light. Stadium of darkness at the moment. Oh, it's not over yet, though. It's not over yet. Oh. 
for a side that's been struggling That's all much of, the, of the possession at the moment. And, uh, they've shown a little bit of guts there to try and get in and make some inroads into this deficit. Yeah, and that's what every manager would want. His team have not laid down, they've not given up. But the players who are brought in are really, really yes, starting to perform now. Well, they're building steadily here, working Andre away. Is absolutely free on the left again. There's the ball in. Oh, miscommunication between the goalie and the defender. If they play it this next season, Sunderland, they had a good start. Oh, penalty again. It's another one. And ball this time. Oh, dear. Sunderland, Sunderland, Sunderland. For the chance at the hat trick here. Nihonacho buries it and gets the hat trick in the first half. Unbelievable! Flattened! Flattened Sunderland the in the first the half of the game! The opposition all match and he thoroughly deserves that hat trick. Seventh, eighth, and ninth goals respectively. Ian Acho is turning into a force. Situation here, 3 0 as the game gets underway. Sunderland are buried. So we reached the break. Empty stadium coming up at the end of this game by the looks of it. They get booed off the pitch. So out of the teams that are battling us, Bournemouth and Swansea relegation battle, of course. Palace beating Watford, they maintain up their choice, their chase, should I say choice. Southampton are getting beat by Spurs, so the winner of that game will pretty much be safe from relegation. I know exactly who I'm bringing on here, guys. We're once again bringing Bacali on. Even though, do you know what, actually, I'm going to make two striker substitutions, which is unusual for me. We're going to bring Aguier. And also, we're going to bring on Jamie Vardy. So we're going to give the midfielders a chance for the run out. And give them the 90 minutes. And it's a voracious appetite for goals. Aggie. I think today with his three, you never know. He probably wants more. We have taken Ian Acho off the pitch, guys. I just want to save him now. There's no point keeping someone who's got a hat trick in the first half. You know what I mean? Destroying them. Absolutely destroyed. This is the best performance we've done all year. Nice return pass. Absolutely killing it at the moment. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Barney strong goal. Oh, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. I've just sent one for the theme sheet on stream, thank you very much. Bite me. Oh. And that's handball. Referee's seen it. <laughs> Dear. I was wondering why it let me play on. That was kind of weird. Really handball. Just a little nudge. Watford, Sunderland, nudge so it's not looking any better for them, is it really, at the moment, Sunderland? Watford, one of the form uh, teams of at the, the moment. Premier League fixture, Sunderland, they'll be facing Watford. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. So what about Bandy's next game? Yeah, they're playing Spurs in the next match, and I can only see one winner, I think, now coast through. Into the attacking third. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Not a foul. Look at that, just effortless by Michael Keane, though. It's just ridiculous. Sonder. All the lone players are just getting in there. That's gonna oh, the couldn't quite do it. Here we go. A demolishing performance. Absolutely frighteningly good. Second goal for Swansea City. It's been scored by Jordan Ayu. That's his second today. Ayu. He reacted fastest to a loose ball in the area and prodded the ball home. Sunderland have shown threats. They've shown signs of coming back into it. But let me just shut them down with Ian Acho's double penalties. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. He's coming forward with some danger. Look at this, just ridiculously good. good. Getting it forward. And heads it towards oh, what a header there by Matt Lowton. Matt Lowton's been superb. In fact, every player I've got has been unbelievable this game. I one or two mistakes, even the keeper's done well. be one of the tightest games we've seen, Alan, but it's extraordinary. It's gone the other way. Yeah, it has. It has. I think everybody in the stadium is quite surprised by that. 
because the one side has been Let's see what you can do. about nice and crisply. The other one's been chasing it and looked flat, lethargic. Oh, Kozil finally gives the ball away. We scored a very similar goal against Liverpool. Uh, the third goal, by the way, was fantastic. It was just what the doctor ordered under the, the minute of silence that I did. Um, oh, bad, bad, bad tackle there. He's gone for the slide. Oh, unlucky for you. And uh, that is a good goal. Well worked. The slight tackle by Ponje was... Uh, should have been in that position. Good solid goal there by Fabio Barini. His fourth goal in the Premier League. Probably going to be irrelevant. They can come back. You've actually got a 25 minute hat trick, so it's possible. But this has been a dominant game. And he has just fouled him. Kari Coney. Poor Sunderland man, they're just trouble. giving so much away. Well, not playing very well at all. It's a yellow card. I'm just trying to impose themselves on this um. match, aren't they, Sunderland? Time Many people who could take free kicks. No, I'm not time wasting. My man, give me a second. They've got a win, perhaps uh, in their sights now if they do well, but there are other ways of seeing it through from here. Yeah, well, you can understand it to a certain extent. Ah, should have just let Macaulay have a crack at it. Let's get back. Let me. Ambitions of getting another goal now. And this could be a really good move from Burnley. Opportunity now. It comes out. Oh. Of the goal paper. It'll be a throw. Good performance. Probably one of the best, I'd say. Unfortunately, we conceded, but Ju's been playing really, really well. He has. Oh boy, yeah. Michael Keane to get handball. Keen Keane has just been God. Hello. Oh, it's just been by Wilfred Zaha. The keeper had made a fantastic save from the original shot, but could not stop him from tapping home the rebound. 76 minutes played. 14, Two not really. Oh, interesting news oh, again from Keen. Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Great save. Good save by Jute. Oh, Bacali's absolutely away. They love to play on the break. Okay, oh, he's hit the bar! Oh, so close. Hit, hit the bar. oh, nearly his first Burnley goal. Look at that. Beat the keeper, hands down. If that had gone in, that would have brought the house down. Bringing one of the kids in and scoring, man. You know what I'm saying? It's awesome. And that news from Alan McAnally that we had to interrupt. A goal for Crystal Palace. The score is now 2-0. Here the challenge is a good one. Gentner. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Good tackle. Vardy, 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 Vardy's down. No. Vardy's down. Gentner. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Vardy, get up, my man. Come on, Vardy, get up, baby. Vardy, get up, baby. Vardy, get up, baby. Broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. Great tackle by Michael Keane. Evans pulling away. Vardy going down is a real worry. How long for? It's looking good, this move. Yanuzai. He went in well. Good play, but they've lost the ball now. And it, he might be through. Okay, brilliant. The icing on the cake. Got into the striker who can put the, the ball in the back of the net. And by the player himself. Vardy very, very unselfish. Well, there's good competition with goalkeeping in this team, and I think he might just be going down the pecking order. First Prem goal. Well, we know the I, I do feel sorry for Sunderland there. We've come, come into this game on unbelievable form. Mistake. So we restart again. 4-1. Sharp piece of attacking play from Sunderland. Ben Mee. Minutes, that's what's going to be played. Oh. Vardy, after that knock, lost a little bit of speed, I guess. A little bit of, little bit of his legs. He's getting, he ain't getting any younger, Jamie Vardy. But for the moment, he's still perfect for us. Ian Acho is going to be the man. 
This team moving forward. And she runs forward and collects that very, very nicely. Absolute dominance. Minus the goal they scored, which was very, very well crafted. Bit of mainly caused by a mistake. But that was fantastic. That was what we needed to do. Inacho comes on in his training vest and gets a hat trick. That's what that's what we're talking about, and that's the sort of shit we need. What? How many, how many minutes was that? That was a 53 minute hat trick from technically. Oh no, wait there. Back out. Um, just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Flatten them. I think this is nearly championship one. We'll have a listen. Bournemouth nil. Wow. Swansea City three. So exactly Swansea Crystal needed. Palace two. Watford nil. Palace great result. Everton one. Hull City two. Hull beat them. Manchester City two. Liverpool nil. Stoke City one. Chelsea one. Sunderland one. Burnley four. Chelsea three. Tottenham Hotspur one. Southampton nil. Tottenham beat West Southampton. Ham United one. Leicester City one. Yes. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Burnley with 64 points. In second, Everton with 52 points. In third, Chelsea with 50 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth, rising up the table are Leicester City with 50 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fifth and falling are Arsenal with 49 points. In sixth, Manchester United with 46 points. In seventh, when Manchester officially City <laughs> with 44 points. 27 points. In eighth, Crystal Palace with 42 We are officially now eighth, guys, points. by the way. On the table, moving down are Bournemouth with 23 points. And then reading up the table... Mm, Bournemouth looking trouble. Climbing the table are Swansea City with 25 points. Third bottom, Hull City with 28 points. Oh, but only big Spurs, they're still in trouble. Difference. Fourth bottom, Southampton with 28 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Fifth bottom, Middlesbrough with 30 points. You see, it's not over really in regards to that. We're not on track. Fuck off, man. Seriously? Seriously, we're not on track? Like, like are you fucking kidding me? We'll grow it next season. You know what I mean? We will grow it next season. It's not hard. We're going to be in the Champions League and we're going to be winning everything. I hope. <laughs> you see, we're nowhere near it. We'll find that out next season, obviously. Um... We need to bring in a superstar. Don't we? Well, we brought in better players than we had. Andre Grubb was our best player before. Now he doesn't even... Tech, he doesn't make the starting lineup. Um, Right, okay. That's good. We will do our training. I think we'll get two training sessions now, don't we? Before that, Shu will get his standard training, really. One. And we'll give him two bites at the cherry. Um, so that's good. And we're going to be doing other young players now, of course. So we will bring on... I believe Baker. The 50, he was 53. I think it might be this guy, actually. Um, so we're going to, I think what we'll do, we're going to leave Alvarez for a little bit, and I want to begin to train up some of the other guys who are on this here, like we've got Bamba, we've got Rossi, I'm just going to start training each of these up individually, and, uh, well, I will definitely keep training the group, that's something we just have to do, this kid's going to be an absolute all-star by the time we get up here. Um, but you know what, actually, nah, for this week we won't. And I will train up one other guy. Alvarez, I don't know if it's worth doing that now. Ah, fuck it, here it is. So basically, what I've just said for the last two minutes means absolutely fucking sweet. Absolute piss. Right, okay. Oh, it's an awful training session. The group moved up a rating. Uh, keeper didn't, which is kind of a bit of a worry. But we'll move on from that. I mean, his positioning is awful, in fairness. Right, so we'll move there. Let's move forward. We're not playing this. Go away. Go away. We'll play the, um... <laughs> yeah, what I'll do, I'll play the, whatchamacallit, the actual World Cup games. Which isn't going to be for another 
Wait, what was it? It wasn't four. It was, it was, it's next year, Thank you the World Cup, so we'll sim it. I don't really want to play it anyway. Sainsbury. Wow, we have someone who's named after a fucking supermarket on my team. All right. God, we ba Australia battered them. Look at that. Um, so that's good. All got two goals, which is good for us. Bradley up. I think that's his name. Um. Stop and simp. Just give us some time to do the trainings. Qualify. I've qualified. I've qualified for the World Cup, man. Yeah, buddy. A monthly scouting report. Let's see if we've got any decent ones here. Um, as a backup goalie, more probably to the point. Yeah, you, you'll be awesome. I think, yeah, we've got another one with high potential, so we'll get you there. That's good. Uh, Sign player. He's only 15 at the moment, so can't really do anything with him. Um, and you there will get this next group of Aussies, of course. No one at all. Oh yeah, we've got 171 to 94. Okay. Alright. Sign you, Brandon Edwards. And that's pretty much it from there. Um, so, yep. Yeah. It's good. We'll have a look now at the Fasca. Sanabria. 18 off. Hmm, see. That's. Uh, it's alright. Oh, yeah, he's got really good finishing, actually. I might look into him. Antonio Sanabria. Um, cool. We'll look into that in a little bit. But the next training session, guys, will be for our goalkeeper, obviously. Keep him getting trained. Now we're going to actually train some of the guys in the lower regions. Now, see any Bamba? We'll just get chance creation up. Um, basically, this is the attackers training now. We've got a Rossi. Can have dribble course, and then have you and um, the groups obviously as usual um, with finishing. Or should I do finishing or passing this time? Uh, no, do you know what actually? That no, I don't need marking for him, do I? Um, yeah, we'll do the passing drill for the group because obviously we need him to be able to pass the ball, which is quite a good trait in football. Um, so here we go then, and they flop. Brilliant, just what you need. Well, the keeper moved up a little bit. It's good, so his positioning's moved up a bit, and the Groot has absolutely shot up. Vision is good. Passing up to 60 is nearly what we needed him to be on, um, so that's good. Um, we've actually got a pretty cool one here. He's playing what's out. Brandon Robinson is with the council's contract. He thinks he's ready to be called to the senior squad. So I'll leave him back. I'll ask him a little so Brandon Robinson. Who is that guy? If you're any good, mate, you ain't coming in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't get held to ransom by players. I, oh, I've made that my absolute philosophy. Brandon Robertson. You know what, actually? All right. Yeah, go on then. Why not? He's actually got a point, though. So let's have a look here at Brandon Robertson. He's all right, actually. He's pretty good. Not the best. He's good. Look at this. He's already got 60s for free kick and stuff. That's fucking awesome. Hmm. We didn't draw against Tottenham last time? I don't think we did. Did we? Eduardo Rossi. Let's have a look at what he can do. If he's any good, you'll come in. We'll get rid of... We've got a couple of people leaving, so that's quite handy. Look at that. Minus 3.63 million now. But why am I, is, is, that, is that because of the, um, yeah, look at that, player wages 948, but look, player wages, travel costs, yeah, look at that, my fucking hell. Yeah, wages are still way too much. We always do 80-20 for that, or 85-15, one of the two. But, um... 
Uh, I don't speak German, unfortunately. Uh, let's have a look. I didn't actually see a name there. I can go. I, I, I don't speak German, um, but... Uh, yeah, I don't, no, I don't really want to make changes. No, I don't speak German. I'm British, bro, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, you guys, um, a lot of people speak... Uh, our language is better than I speak theirs, unfortunately. I fall into that sort of mold. Um, English speaking, buddy, unfortunately. Sorry. Oh, for love of fucking God. I, I don't care about it. What a Rossi, man. What, what is wrong with him? Oh, he's quite good as well, though. I'll, I will offer these people contracts, but I'll just sell them. <laughs> it's not a problem for me. I want to come on board, mate. Then see you later, son. Hmm. 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 Oh, they're pretty good. Look at that. You definitely can come on. You... Yeah, all right. Fabrice Cone. He's, this guy's looking all right. We'll sign him. So that's good. So Joey Barton wants to be brought on. <sighs> Do you know what? He's leaving. I'm not... Yeah, piss off. Not interested. You're leaving, Barton. Get the fuck off my team. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, okay. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Uh, um, Branimir Kalaika. I'm sure you're pretty good, but I'm not looking kind of at you at the moment. If you can follow the channel, whoever's watching, that would be awesome. I may even learn German just for you. <laughs> Uh, but when we win the championship, guys, it's simply going to be youth players going ballistic, basically. And we're going to try people out that we don't usually try out. And, uh, yeah. Um, so what we need to do now is I'm actually going to go and set up another scout report, because I believe we can get another one now. Um, so youth staff, we're going to... Ah, available. Hey, here we go. Where are we going to go this time, then? Uh, we've got one in Brazil. Um, where should we go? Should we go somewhere different? Got Africa already. Yeah, nah. Well, actually, I don't know. Hey, Joe, we're going to do the standard one. We're going to Spain. Nine months. Technically gifted. Let's just keep bringing in the superstars, shall we? Um, We've got goalie there. Scout put available um, from China. Um, I don't really like going to Australia anymore. Do you imagine? Once again, guys, cigarette coming up. And then I will be on for my last game of today's stream. This, of course, will be up on YouTube along with the rest of the series very, very soon. Um, basically, I've got the first 13 parts all on my channel. Positively glad with, that, with the space. So you'll see me there. It's got a black emblem with silver block Minecrafty style writing. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'll be back in two minutes, folks. Thank you once again for waiting.
Back in five minutes, folks. Forgive me. Forgive me here, guys. I am going to be back later on this e this afternoon, maybe this evening, most definitely tomorrow. What I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm looking after my baby currently, so I'm going to end this on a two-part stream, two-video stream. Next game it will be against Tottenham Hotspur. Forgive me, it's just I'm going to be too long while I wait. So I will simply say, guys, so thank you so much once again. Please make sure you drop a like because it makes me happy. Share because it gets me out there. Subscribe because it gets me bigger in a non sexual way. And also, as well, please make sure you follow me on Twitch at Positively Glad. This has been your man, Tom. All the best. Take care. Much love.
take care all the best and we'll see you very very soon